In this tutorial, I'll show you how to uh, create surfaces from point groups. What you'll notice here is we have a grouping of points. These are just the ground shots that we have listed for a parking lot. And notice the other markings over here, the other points are not listed in that group. And we want to use, just use those to create a surface. So over on your prospector tab in the pools, tool space, we'll come to surfaces and right click on create surface. You'll see that there's a tin surface here. That's the one we want. That's going to be a triangulated uh, network of points. And I'm just going to type in parking lot for the name. You can name that whatever you want or later on change the name. We'll hit OK. Notice here that there's a holding place for parking lot. There's no surface yet, but it will now uh, allows us a space to define how that uh, uh, surface will be created. And under definition, if we expand that further, we're going to see the options we have to define that surface. So we can do it with boundaries, break lines, contour lines, all sorts of ways to do it. And ours specifically is going to be point groups. So we'll right click and hit add. And we're just going to pull in the ground shots and hit OK. Now at this point, um, we can see that something's going on there that's a little little off. And so uh, this will be so common problems that either you have a point way off of the surface that's not uh, that's pulling the surface way out. Or in this case, we have a point that looks like it's high, and so maybe there's something wrong with that data point, or it uh, wasn't in, supposed to be included in this point group. So first thing I'm going to do is just come up to our ground shots, go to properties, and I'm just going to pull out all this, uh, all of the elevations on there, just so we can uh, kind of see what's going on. And if we zoom in here, you can see that there's some contours here, but it looks like this one point is a little bit is not working out well for us. So um, <clears throat> So if you uh, come to a point like that, you should be able to hover right over it and it's going to tell you the details of that point. So in this case, it looks like number 94 um, is essentially a rogue point or say that this was bad data. So we can come into here, come to point 94 in our tool space. And all we're going to do is uh, right click on that and hit uh, delete. So that will delete just this point here. Notice that when I do that, the point got deleted, but the surface is still the same. And over here in ground shots, you'll see that there is a yellow exclamation mark that showed up. So you're going to come over here and right click on ground shots and hit update. Again, it's not fully set here, but that updated that ground shot list. And then over on parking lot here, we're going to go ahead and hit rebuild. And that should rebuild it. And you can see that now we don't have that uh, that marking in there anymore. So basically, you need to go through, uh, create a surface, and then make sure that all those points that are included in that surface are the correct ones. And you can delete ones or uh, move other ones into other um, um, areas that way. And there we have our uh, surface.